this is the one with the warm colors. If you're using the warm colors, you probably should do uh, the yellow first because it's the lighter one. And then after you have painted the whole background with the light color, because I started doing it red and I didn't like it, you couldn't see it at all. So I'm gonna fill the whole thing in with yellow. Once again, you'll be sharing these brushes with at your table. These are old Miss Paula's. They will go in a, in a tub and I'll clean them up at the end. See, I got a little bit of red in there. That's okay, because it's in your it's on your plate. I like the way that looks. <laughs> that looks like mustard. Filling the whole thing in. And if you don't want to do stripes and you want to do something like this, you can. You're going to turn this into something. We're talking about Eric Carl. He actually painted uh, tissue paper, but it's way too thin to use tissue paper. So maybe you'll make an insect out of this. Um, a butterfly, some kind of caterpillar. Known for his caterpillars, his crickets. Then I would set that down. We need to get more yellow. Bring in some pink. I want to do stripes. Do a little doops <laughs> on that white paper. Do little dots. See how I'm not worrying about necessarily having a lot of paint? That's okay because you want to be able to go in with the rollers and add your texture. Now do you see how there's some blue on here? That's okay because I was using that with uh, another video that I was doing. So you're going to take and turn this paper into something else next week when you come in having to do with Eric Carl because he's our artist of the month. <laughs> and then this will go on the drying rack, leave it on your paper. And like I said, I haven't decided if you're going to get this back or not. We will see. It might just go in the paper bank. Oh, there's forks in here too. They make a great, great texture. So have fun experimenting.